Hello and welcome to the channel. The former president Olusegun Obasanjo has made a shocking revelation detailing what the founders of the dreaded BH told him about the insurgency group and why they started in the first place. You don't want to miss this one. Subscribe, like, share and comment. Thank you. What BH founders told me about insurgency, Obasanjo. Former President Olusegun Obasanjo has revealed what the founders of BH in the Northeast told them about insurgency in Nigeria. Obasanjo said the founders of the RIST group told them that poverty and unemployment drove them into the insurgency. The former president made this revelation at the launch of a book titled Pillars of Statecraft, Nation Building in a Changing World, authored by his daughter, Dr. Kofo Obasanjo Blackshire, in Lagos on Saturday. He, however, warned that the country is over 20 million out of school children were a breeding ground for more BH members of the future, if not urgently tackled. On why government policies have become more political than people-centered in recent times, Obasanjo said part of the country's major problems was looking for scapegoats for its problems. He stated, During the early days of BH, when the man who started the movement was said to have been killed, I said I wanted to meet with the members of the group to talk to them and know what they wanted. I met with their representatives and found out that they needed nothing but a better life for themselves. Can we blame them for wanting a better life for themselves? They said they believed in Sharia law. I told them that Sharia was not a problem in Nigeria. It is part of our constitution. According to Obasanjo, some of the members of the insurgent group told him that they went to school but had no jobs. He said, do we blame them if after four years they have no jobs? Are they not entitled to a livelihood? This boils down to one of the P's of nation building, politics, which talks about governance and leadership. If that leadership is not properly taken care of, every other thing will go haywire, he said. He also added that Nigerians must learn to face their own problems squarely rather than blaming others for it. He said, we must ask, what do we do with our people? How do we raise and value them? How do we value them? We have over 20 million out-of-school children. Goggle how many countries in the world have less than 20 million. That doesn't worry us. Are you thinking there will be no BH tomorrow? Those are the foundations of your BH tomorrow. That should be our concern. We should not say it is externally induced. Is poverty also externally induced? Poverty is the conscious, unconscious choice of our leaders. If we say no, it will be no. If we say yes, it will be yes. Meanwhile, former President Olu Shegun Obasanjo recently shed new light on the unsuccessful attempt to extend his presidential term limit in 2006. He contends that the push for his third term was in fact instigated by certain state governors, contrary to the prevalent perception of the event. Back in 2006, an amendment bill to the 1999 constitution was proposed aimed at extending term limits by an additional four years. However, the bill did not succeed in the National Assembly. Obasanjo has repeatedly rejected any insinuations that he desired to prolong his tenure beyond 2007 since the bill's failure. Instead, he maintains that the initiative was largely driven by some governors. During a discussion with media personality Shudi Gideon War, Obasanjo reflected on his presidential tenure and his administration's approach to corruption. Concerning the failed third term bid, he said, the governors, some of them were doing it for themselves because if the president did a third term, they too would have had a chance for a third term. In another report, Obasan Joe has reiterated his support for the former governor of Anambra State, Peter Obi, to become Nigeria's president. The announcement was tailed with legal suits from the opposition parties and their candidates after Bola Hakmet Sinyubu emerged victorious in the February 25th presidential election. But Obi, the Labour Party, Atiku, 
how the People's Democratic Party are currently challenging the process that produced Tinubu as winner of the election. Speaking, however, during a recent interview with the popular media personality Shudi, Obasanjo insisted that despite President Tinubu being declared as the winner of the last election, Obi remains the candidate that Nigeria needs at this time. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. Obas and Joe also expressed worry that Nigerians relate as friends while they are outside the country, but act like enemies when they are inside the country. Obas and Joe said that Nigerians in the diaspora are making the country proud in their different areas of endeavor. The former president urged Nigerians in the diaspora to be good citizens wherever they are domiciled. Obas and Joe, in a statement by his special assistant on media, Koinde Akinyemi, expressed satisfaction over the unity exhibited among Nigerians in the United States of America. He urged Nigerians in the diaspora to reciprocate such togetherness when they are back home. He spoke on behalf of a delegation of eminent traditional rulers and academics that included the Yolowu of Owo Kingdom, Oba Saka Matemi Lola. He said, Nigerian nationals are often very united when they are abroad but something else when they return to the country. Therefore, I want to urge all to be good citizens, not only where you are, but when you also come home to Nigeria. Also, the former president said the nation must consider both genders for the position of president if it wants to grow. Obasan just stressed the eminence of women, stating that the country can benefit greatly from women's expertise. From my own view, if we want the country to grow, we should consider both genders because a hand can't carry a load to the head alone. You can do it as you want, but it should be done as it is supposed to be. We can gain experience from both genders. What's the difference between the genders? Only that a female can get pregnant for nine months and a male cannot. That's the only difference in us. Obas and Joe added that there is no stopping a female politician from becoming the president of Nigeria soon. He also reiterated that his era made better decisions in selecting their leaders than what is in place in this current dispensation. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.